much for doing this. How would you summarise what Play Gloucestershire does? We're an outdoor play charity. We offer free open access play sessions in deprived areas around Gloucestershire. So Charlie, you received some funding from the National Emergencies Trust. What did that enable you to do? Um, so that funding enabled us to create um, a thousand more bags of play for vulnerable children and families. Um, it also enabled us to uh, recruit volunteers um, to come and help us to pack the bags. We uh, delivered a lot of them, but we also asked our community partners and they often uh, sent them out with food bank parcels. You know, the most vulnerable families who were struggling also got a bag of play for their children. The work that you do, while always having been important, has probably never been more important. We thought, how can we emulate what we do normally in our community play sessions? So we thought we'd make like a mini version. So in the bags, there's things that we would have in our play vans. Just anything that, they, that would really inspire them to get creative and keep playing, even though they were indoors and they couldn't come out to play. I was very fortunate during lockdown to work on a television show called The Lockdown Craft Club. And we tried to do a kids craft in every show, which uh, was from stuff that people would have lying around the home. Will you just tell me from your perspective, how important you think the craft element of the play bags was? There was one girl in particular who struggles with anxiety and she'd been finding it really hard. Um, and obviously being more, being indoors more and being fearful of, of being outside. She found it like a really calming influence to, to create something. But sometimes they will say what's on their mind because their hands are busy, so they're not really thinking about what, what's going on, really. God, I know that. It's such, it's, I mean, if I, if I could just, like, have you, like, in a, like a little badge with you saying that, or, you know, on a, it's so important for adults and children, but particularly for children, when you are busy with your hands, your mind is freer. It's, a form, yeah. it's almost like a form of meditation. Definitely. What has been the impact of COVID? We've definitely seen uh, a rise in sort of anxiety and emotional issues. You know, so for some children, a lot of things were in place, like social care and, and um, agencies were working with them. Whereas our fear is for the families who are maybe on the cusp of that or maybe didn't have that, but then suddenly needed it because of the pandemic and as you say, all the stress and strains that it put on the family. And yeah, it's that worry of what's going on behind closed doors. It must be so difficult for them. And you're really seeing that. And, and the more that you can do, the more children that can be helped. Children have suffered the most in a way through this because of their, you know, shutting down playgrounds, shutting down green spaces, not being able to get outdoors. The, the knock-on effect of that is going to be huge for this kind of generation. It's not just inspiring; it's pretty moving. I, uh, you know, I, I can, can completely see how your work is so vital and so needed, and we've got to put them front and centre. Charlie, it's been a joy. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, it's been much. so lovely to speak to you. Thank you for oh, taking time oh, to, yeah. No, 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 it's a real privilege. And I just, I'm so glad there are people like you who, who are doing what you do. And, oh, I, and I hope that we, that our cross paths cross. <laughs>